I was in the fourth grade, and, and me and my best friend thought it would be a good idea to to skip school and go drink a 12-pack of his mom's beer that she had in the camper. And I think I was in the ninth grade when my friends and I wanted to try marijuana, but they were scared. So I said, you know what, I'll go try it, and I'll tell you how it is. That's just, that's how my life went. I don't, I didn't see anything wrong with it. It was, it was something to do. From there, it, it progressed. Life for me went from that to not being able to go for two hours without waking up sweating in the middle of the night and having to go down in my basement and smoke whatever pills I had left for that day and my son hiding his piggy bank from me because I'd steal money out of it to go buy alcohol during the night. I didn't want to go to a rehab. I had been to a rehab when I was young and it was awful. I came to the, to the ranch not knowing where I was headed, where I was going, just wondering how I was going to make it through the day. The ranch is the most sacred thing I know on this earth. Anything that happened in my life worthwhile started here from the love I felt, from the people that work here that showed me what to do. There's a feeling when I come here that I have a hard time feeling anywhere else. This place is very special to me and it's open to anybody. I found hope with a room full of brothers that I shared five months with, six months, that made me feel welcome and loved and could talk about the same emotions and feelings I had. And my suggestion is, is give up. <laughs> Give up the idea that you're hanging on to so hard that the only way is to drink and use and pray to try something different.